In this video then, two very different people on two very different alternative power bikes and one loop. Can we ride together or will it be a monumental mismatch? Easy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect that. <laughs> it doesn't require too much common sense to figure out what exactly would happen when an e-bike loafer goes head to head with an athlete. Yes, I know what you're thinking. Where on earth would you find such stereotypes? Two bikes, mid assist and also a full power bike. We're gonna be looking at uh, climbing speed, range, single track speed, and also effort. And we're joined by GMBN Tech's Anna Chipulo. She's obviously been on the MBN show many times, but this is Anna's first time in the woods. I know. Anna, what's it all about? What about this shenan e-bike shenanigan? <laughs> Why have you chosen the white uh, e-light? Um, a couple of reasons. I mean, I'm from a cross-country background uh, and I've raced a World Cup in my time, so it's suffering on the climbs is not a problem for me. I'm used to that, but it's I've ridden full fats and they're just a bit of a handful on the descents if they're over 20 kilos. And this is obviously sub uh, 20. Uh, so I just wanted a bike that was going to ride trail and enduro nicer on the descents. That's what I was more concerned with, to be honest. Okay, so we've got a 20 kilo bike here, a sub 20 kilo bike with yeah. the range extender. My bike is 26 kilos, but I'm 95. So my the, the relative weight, so you got, that's like 25%, no, 20%, 25%. Is it? Oh, uh, 20% of my body weight. <laughs> So like some mass that, will be on the screen. That bike is that bike's gonna feel to me different to what it's gonna feel for you. So that the weight of that, what what weight are you? Well I'm almost sixty kilos and okay. this is just under twenty. So, so you go. it's thirty percent of it's my body 30 weight. Percent of your body weight. Yeah. So I guess I guess it's all relative, isn't it? Yeah, because a full fat at about twenty three kilos is getting on for like forty percent of my body weight. Mm, and it does start lump, to it? plow through things and I feel like a bit of a passenger, if I'm honest, on a full fat. Interesting. Well, today's loop is not a full on downhill loop, it's a mix. I really like it. It's old school cross country. It's not surfaced, there's roots, there's rocks. There's, there's, there's hundreds of corners. I think you like it. So let's see if we can ride together and mm. see the effect of range and if we can keep together on the trail. Interesting section that. Yeah. Loads of loads of roots, flat ground. I mean, I'm sure you've ridden. Well, you you've ridden and raced hardtails. Yeah. Short travel cross country bikes, yeah. which get you get pinged around all over the place, right? Yeah, you're right. The weight actually sort of sucks you down, and it also like sits you into. Not in a, a bad way, though. No, no, no. In a good way. It means you don't rebound off the roots as much, so you feel like your your tires are just constantly on the ground. You know, there's no wheel spinning because you're not you know, lifting off or anything. So two days into your e-biking uh, journey, would you say you're happy or sad? Very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey boy! Mickey boy! Oh, these are nice routes. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, so... Um, <laughs> I think section or stage one of our ride done. Yeah. Uh, folks, it's primarily a flat single track with a load of corners, a load of routes. I mean, the aim of this video mm. is to see if we can ride together. But I think after stage one, Oh, definitely, because it's so cornery, so naturally twisty. There's only so fast you can ride this sort of stuff anyway. So we kind of have to be sort but of level. But how fast on an e-bike? <laughs> I mean, it helps when you mess up a corner and you can just accelerate back out. That's, yeah, yeah. for sure. So, so far then, still, ha still happy with... Very happy. Okay, cool. Well, we're still together, Anna, on our ride. <laughs> uh, just about. Interestingly, uh, I did a head-to-head -head with the E160 versus the E-Lite uh, last year, comparing the range. Now, um, 
it's quite amazing actually that the range of these two bikes is actually really, really similar with a 95 kilo rider on there uh, riding in turbo mode. So what was really interesting about the ride though is this bike did the circuit in two hours, whereas mm. that bike took me two hours 20. The loop was uh, over 20 miles, um, 3,800 feet of climbing and descending. But what was really interesting was the fact that even though this bike had 30% more power, it actually only had 15% more battery than that bike with the range extender. Huh. They're still able to do the yeah. same loop. But next up, Anna, <laughs> next up is some hill climbs. All right, go on then. Okay. <laughs> right, so far we're at the same pace. I actually think this could be the transition where this bike actually goes ahead, even though yeah. you're lighter. That's, that's what I think at least, but let's give it a go. Right. Uh, full power mode, as we are anyway. And uh, folks, this is legit. This is actually happening. So a little bit of a single track <laughs> climb ahead of us. Um, see Live how it goes. direct. Oh, oh no, I'll bring out the one pedal. <laughs> I'm having you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect that. <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> She's actually leaving me. Oh man, that was so much fun. Go right back there, Jonesy. <laughs> <laughs> Did I take you by surprise there? Oh, crazy. <laughs> I think it goes to show that uh, power isn't everything, there's technique as well, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a bit of a strategy game on this though, because you have to consistently like pull that high cadence to keep it going. And you like sit on the edges of it like a motocross bike. It's brilliant. And you did, and you were ahead of me. I, I was I was actually taken by surprise there. I was like, what the hell is Chapula doing? She's like yeah. gone. <laughs> Do you think that's like my body weight contributing to that as well? Like getting more power technique, out of it? Technique, Chapula, all, yeah. the, all day, yeah. However, we will be moving on to technical climbing later. <laughs> Downhill section complete. Well, we don't need to discuss that, do we, very much? What nah. I do want to discuss is the range. Oh, yeah. Right, moment of truth, folks. I'm, I'm kind of down, I've dropped, almost dropped the bar. How yeah. about you? Almost dropped oh, the, the bar. Oh, the same. There you yeah, go, yeah, the yeah. same. The so, same. 650 watt hours on your bike, 750 on mine. I think the ride so far, apart from that little glitch on the single track climb where you can somehow some, Somehow just went ahead. Something, yeah, we have been riding wrong. together now for you know a fair bit of time. Yeah. Um, this is interesting. Uh, a fire road climb. What I want to find out is, can you keep up with me? Can I keep up with you when you get above 25k? Because mm, it's the same max power in theory, but yeah. you should get there quicker because should you've got do. a bigger. But before we get to the flat section, there's a little bit of a gradual climb here. So let's have a, let's see how this how we get on on this bit. <laughs> What the f is she doing again now? Why well, can't do that? <laughs> oh, enough of that. Enough of that. <laughs> enough of that, I think. Oh! So, you guys have actually uh, asked many times what's it like on a mid assist bike versus a full power bike when you're above 25 kph. And I think Anna has just proved that it's faster. <laughs> Only just, but the cadence just knocks your cardio so much. So yeah, you're I may be a bit faster, like, but... You're probably putting like 30, 35 K there. Yeah. Mate, do you reckon? I think so. The thing is though, that's... When you're on a fire road like that, it's nice to just chat, isn't it? Rather than go like hell. 
Yeah, for sure. I'm I wouldn't do I wouldn't do that in reality. I'm glad you agree. But it's with that. nice to know the power's there if you can be bothered to put the cadence in. Right. Well, we've got two more sections to do. We've got a um, like a really nice kind of flowing uh, uphill trail, and then the uh, sting in the tail is a technical climb. It's been a lovely day. Oh, pleasure. Same speed. Pretty much. Same range. Yeah, definitely. If you'd have been on a full power bike, you'd have been gone. <laughs> I don't think I would have had as much fun though. And I think I don't think you would have had as much fun if you'd have been on this. The question is, do you think you'll like it? Do you think you'll come to like it? The more I ride it, the more I know I made the right choice mm, for me. Yeah. And do you know what? <gasps> I feel it's such a shame to spoil such a nice day. Are you going to take me out that climb? Because that's going to spoil it for me. As the wild, <laughs> as the local wild boar would say, uh, 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 <laughs> that's what's ahead. No. <laughs> Don't be like that. What am I doing here? Then I keep pedaling. All right, Nikki. Keep it going. Keep it going. Yeah, keep going. I don't even like descending Keep it going, Nikki. Oh, I'm nervous about this. I'm going to end up on the back, I know it. Ooh, let's get a good line in, shall we? Oh, no! no. <laughs> what is Anna doing over there? I didn't commit. I can't do the straight up. I need to do diagonals. What are you doing? <laughs> I can't, What's going go, on? I can't go up steep like that. I haven't what? got the power. Why didn't you go there? Well, that looked a bit spicy as well, didn't it? Spicy? The only thing spicy it's here spicy. is you. I'll try it again, but I don't think that's happening. You could have done that easy, right? Oh, I don't know how I feel about this. Easy, easy. <laughs> <laughs> we need a new presenter I'm, on EMBN. I'm just going to sit here for a minute. If you don't mind it. <laughs> what are you actually doing there, Anna? <laughs> That's just having a break, mate. <laughs> break, mate. Just, just having a break, a break. mate. Just a wee breather. No way, it hasn't got the power for the steeps. You can't crank it. It's too gentle. Can you take that, Steve? Anna said it hasn't got the power. <laughs> I mean, it might not have. I'm going to give it a go, though. To be fair, that's his legs making up the extra power there. Right, Nick. <laughs> that was your legs making up that power. Huh? That was your legs making up that power. How do my legs feel about it? No, that's your legs making up the power needed. Go and get my bike. <laughs> oh! All right, okay. Ooh. I think she might like it. It's easy! <laughs> Cheating, she said. Which are kind of easy, she said, but it is, it kind of is, but... Oh. Let's see what she's going to say for herself. It's about how the power's being delivered. Because yeah, me at high cadence is, like, not helping. I mean, you ain't ridden a full power bike since... <laughs> 2017? Yeah, so I wouldn't worry about it. So, I mean, think about all that terrain to explore. Yeah, I'll do it on that. How about we go and explore a bacon sandwich and an espresso, oh, please? Oh, now you're talking. Oh, such a shame to spoil <laughs> such a lovely day. Again. With that last climb, yeah. Yeah, but you know what? I think that in terms of battery usage, you kind of, I think you've got me ready, but that's only to be expected. Um, because I was pretty much equal when I went on the two bikes with mm. 650 on the on the E-Lite and 750 on the on the E160. Um, what we haven't talked about is effort. Mm. Obviously, it's one of your first e-bike rides. Yeah. Um, heart rate did get up on occasion, though, didn't it? It did. There was, I mean, when we were blasting down that fire road, you know, I was slightly ahead of you, uh, but I was maxing out on my cadence there, and I was blowing when I stopped. Like, I was really out of breath. So there is 
That's not because I'm meeting the extra power. It's just keeping that cadence high all the time. It's like mm. quite high on the cardio. And what happened to the high cadence, high cadence on the technical climb? <laughs> Well, it was non-existent, wasn't it? <laughs> and the thing is, to get up a climb that steep with a lack of power, it's hard to keep a what cadence a high. What do you mean a lack of power? Well, because there's lower torque in my motor than a full fat. Oh, I see. You're blaming so the bike. I can't, You're blaming the I, bike. I, I mean, I will get there eventually, but currently I can't just run a low cadence and still get that torque. Mm -hmm. But then running a high cadence on something steep just kind of throws you off. So um, do you like the prospect of maybe going up into the mountains and doing like technical, really long extended climbs to, to get the heart rate right up? If it's single track and it's a bit of a strategy game the whole way through, I'm all on board. Like the, the single track climb yeah, we did. I mean, love that. To, to, be, to be fair, I mean, routes are unpredictable. Yeah. I think when you got like, a good granite surface, climbing does become a different game. I think you like it. Yeah. Do you think you like it? I've always liked tech <laughs> climbs. I mean, that's my cross country background talking. Yeah. But, uh, um, yeah. So there, we, there you go, folks. We've done single track climbing, we've done descending, we've done fire at above 25 kph, where, <laughs> you know, which as you guys pointed out to us previously, the lighter weight bike is actually faster and you can sustain yeah. a higher speed. Um, I think all around, it's me and you are pretty equal. We could go out yeah. for like five days and we would literally be the same kind of, you know. Probably, yeah. But I would, for me, that bike is right for me. But I think for you, that bike is right for you. Do you it? think next time we might uh, have a sneak insight into, into what you think about you know, mid power and full power bikes, especially in terms of the weight, right? Yeah, I mean, I, as you know, I've done, I've been on a full fat and I don't like the weight. Anything above don't 20, mince your words, Anna. 22 Say that again. kilos, you... I'm not into it. I'm not into full fat. <laughs> not if it's going to be heavy as well. And you can't really have the best of both, can you? Folks, so... join us next time where myself <laughs> and Chipulo go head to head with some downhill bikes of different weights. Ooh. Oh, sorry, downhill riding on different weight bikes. See you next time.